Give it, give it, give it the time. Hey girl, hey, hey boy, hey. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Sheikah if you're new and welcome to a new vlog. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and consider subscribing. We are lit here. Um, I blog, sometimes I do hair videos, me and babe do challenges. Uh, Vlogmas is coming up. If you don't know what Vlogmas is, basically it is um, when YouTubers or vloggers vlog um every day until christmas pretty much some people like do it all the way until the end of december but it's all depending on how they feel so with all that being said go ahead and please consider subscribing if you're subscribed and your post notification bell isn't on what are you doing boo go ahead and click that um notification bell so that you can be notified each and every time i upload a video so y'all it is thursday okay it's thursday my hair is a mess and i have a excuse for it honestly i'm tired of it looking like this I'm tired of feeling like this. Like, I really want to glow up. I want to boss up. I want to get my ish together. I want to do my hair, do my eyebrows. Like, I really want to put myself together. Y'all know Thanksgiving is next week. And I'm not trying to have Thanksgiving catch me looking like this, okay? But I got me some hair off of Amazon because I plan to do my hair. Let me show you guys what I got. Okay, y'all. So, this is what I got this is what i'm going to put in my hair whenever i get the chance these are some soft locks so i ordered this off of um i ordered this off of amazon i will leave the link down in the description box below so that you can go ahead and order this if you wanted to they had different um colors so this right here i believe is a 30 but of course you don't have to get this color it came like this this is one pack and I think I have like six more either five or six more packs in here so I'm going to um, install these and then I also got some um, spring twist hair came like this um, obviously you can see that they are from two different vendors but I'll leave the information to this down below as well and so this hair here it looks like this and basically what i'll do is just like wrap it around i'm a little scared because of the color like it's it's definitely a difference um i'm gonna go ahead and see like how it look when i like do a couple of them or whatever because like if you can see this is more so to me this is giving like 27 honestly speaking and then this is a 30 so I'm trying to figure out if I want to go ahead and use this or send it back now that I'm really looking at it with this hair outside of the pack y'all I might need to send this back that's enough about my hair I'm just letting y'all know why I still look like this look I even got product in my hair but y'all last week friday i don't know if it was thursday it started or what but y'all i was out you understand me i couldn't do nothing i had to cancel my client i got home from work and i literally got in the bed like i could i didn't even have any strength to take me a shower i didn't take a shower until like two or three o'clock in the morning like the next morning because i was feeling so bad it was not covid i do believe that um it was my uh sinus because i do suffer with sinuses and you guys know that the weather has been changing like crazy one day it's hot one day it's cold one day it's cold in the morning and it's hot in the evening like i don't know where you guys are from but i am here in south florida and the weather has been crazy lately okay the weather has been crazy so that is why i have not been able to wash my hair i have been down for a while like i'm telling y'all it's thursday right now this started like a week ago so right now i don't consider myself a hundred percent because i still have like i feel like i have like a film on my throat or something like that i don't know how to explain it but 
that's what's going on but your girl trying to get herself together for thanksgiving because i refuse to let thanksgiving sneak up on me like this so i do know that um it's gonna be hectic because i have clients like crazy like everybody is trying to um get themselves ready for thanksgiving so i am booked all the way until thanksgiving y'all so I know I'm going to be up late trying to get my hair together today. I started detangling it or whatever. Because um, I didn't really want to, you know, wet my hair and washing the stuff with it being tangled. But what I think I am going to do is just go ahead. I probably end up washing my hair tonight and um, detangling it and stuff like that. And I'm going to see if I can plait my hair down tonight. I don't know, y'all right now i am about to eat y'all and mom and i had got this cauliflower pizza from costco's and i am definitely um i'm ready to try it so let's try it out together all right y'all so i got my slice let's try it You know what this remind me of? This remind me of that pizza um, that you would get at Walmart. Like the little pizza in the bag, I think it's called. I can't think of the name of it, but if I could think of it, I'm going to put it on the screen. It tastes like this. I would definitely order this pizza again, y'all. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. So, y'all, I need to vent a little bit. I know you guys can't really see me because I am out and about and it's dark, obviously. But y'all, I'm a little frustrated if I must be honest with you guys. And I'm a little frustrated because I had a client today, right? Now, she booked me at 8 p.m. I wasn't too um, bothered by it because a lot of people like don't really know how to work the website like that. So, I text her. I'm referring to my client. I text her and I said, I'm going to see you before 8 o'clock, right? And her response was, yes. Okay. So, it was probably maybe 5 minutes to 6. I text her and I said, hey, what time should I be expecting you? She texted me back and said, 8. I said, 8 p.m. is way too late. 1. 2. On my website, I stay on there. I do not take clients after 6 p.m. especially on weekdays because I have a full-time job and I have to be at work by 6 a.m. which means I have to be up at 5 right so so then I said that to her and she was like but my appointment time is at 8 p.m. and I had to then explain to her so how the website is I'm referring to style seat I have it to where on weekdays I'm available to do hair from I believe I have on there from 5 to like 11.45 or something like that so here's why I have it the way I have it if my client wants to book me for box braids or something like that that takes a few hours during the week if I put it on there that you know they can't book me at 6 o'clock at 6 o'clock if they try to book me for box breaks during the week, they're not able to. You get what I'm saying? Because I can definitely do hair past six, especially, I mean, let me go back because I'm getting ahead of myself. I can definitely do hair past um, six o'clock, but I will not start anybody's hair past six o'clock, if that makes sense. Because I have way too much to do. Like, I'm already sleep deprived. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I just... I don't know y'all I've been contemplating on switching websites or whatever as far as booking my clients like I don't know a better way I don't know so if you are a hairstylist or some type of business owner and you um, have to have
have your clients book you on the website please give me some pointers some advice some something in the comments down below because I'm a little aggravated I'm just saying Okay, y'all, so I'm back in the car. My mom is not feeling good. I had to come to Starbucks and get her a medicine ball. Hopefully, this um, helps her tummy out and get her to feeling better. So, let's go and get mommy. Child, let's see what this hit hitting on. I be trying to be supportive. Oh. Y'all, this is a dry wine. It's not my favorite, but I'ma drink it. And how about the um, alcohol percentage is 13%. So your girl about to get a little buzz before she go to bed, okay? And tonight's dinner is a Trappy Trap from Playa Tropical. I don't even want to get into it because they done pissed me off. Y'all. This might have to be my little wine child. Of course, this wouldn't be my number one because I like a more of a sweeter wine. Yeah. However, you can't really get too lit off of the sweet wine. You can't. So. You can't the whole bottle, you can. Yeah, but that's if you drink the whole bottle. But listen, I only got one glass. Y'all saw what I poured. And your girl feeling good, okay? Man, give me the sweet wine and I drink the whole bottle. Try to drink that shit like it's juice. Anyway, I'm that? about to go get myself prepared for bed. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. Juice. All right, y'all. So, I'm out of the shower. I'm a little tipsy, so excuse me. But, babe just started a new job, y'all. He is working. Um, well, I'm not going to tell y'all what my man working. I ain't going to tell y'all what he working. Anyway, it's a warehouse job. It's another warehouse job. A better um, paying warehouse job. And today was day four, and he's tired. So I am about to warm up some oil, and I'm gonna give him a massage. I know he's gonna be snoring, y'all, but he don't even know that I'm about to be doing this. I'm tired in my body, but ladies, let me just tell you something. Ladies, your man, need a little bit more than you just cooking cleaning and making them feel good if you know what i mean because we may have some babes watching this so that's just a little pointer sometimes you gotta rub a man down and rub his feet like think outside the box sometimes you gotta do a little bit more you know what i'm saying hey girl hey hey boy hey and happy friday I hope you all are having a great day because I am if you were wondering obviously I'm here at work hence my background and if you have watched you know I am just walking over to my spot to you know get my day started and get the vibes going um I do apologize for the wind because she it's pretty windy here it's been windy for the last couple days but you know what i will not complain because i prefer this kind of weather versus it being all sunny and hot so i hope that this weather here brings on the coolness because i'm ready if you do not know me y'all i love fall fall is one of my favorite um seasons i love it i love it um i'd be so happy when it's like thanksgiving christmas time because i'm sorry y'all my warm <laughs> i get so excited when it's like thanksgiving and christmas time because i just i don't know i like the vibe of 
um, like putting on like a Christmas movie, sitting on a couch with some hot chocolate or coffee or whatever your uh, preference of drink is, and just being cozy and relaxing, y'all. I love Christmas because I'm a giver. I'd rather give than receive. I was told that it's better to give than receive anyway. So yeah. So let me show y'all the views today. It's the views today. We don't have no pretty sunrise this morning because again the weather is like pretty windy out it's a little muggy but that's okay we still have some you know pretty scenery and whatnot 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 I'm over here invading my co-worker space y'all she gonna get me in the comments but I just love it work and I'm about to tackle this head. It's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again. But you ain't picking your phone up Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day Let me take you away All I need is just saying yeah, 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 yeah Better nights, better days When you're here with me, babe Cause you're all that I crave So I wonder Where are you? Where are you? Don't hide away from me when I need you most We got love guaranteed and I have to know Say, where are you? Where are you? Don't be so hard to reach Just pick up your phone Tell me where you'll be Cause I gotta know Let me know when you're ready Cause I made reservations Too many invitations And the last night was heavy. heavy I need communication Tell me where's your location Used to talk 24-7 Every other second Just to make sure we were up to date Now it's closer to 11 And I ain't hearing nothing I just need to know that you're okay Y'all, look at all this hair. Look at all this hair. Let me walk to the front of the house with my mom and my uncle on the phone. And they loud. But look at this hair. I just wanted to show you guys what this hair looks like. Look, I still got trash in it. Look, 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 look. Look. I gotta go get that out of my hair, y'all. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like <clears throat> before my mom go ahead and blow dry it for me and yes my mama is gonna blow dry my hair okay but y'all we got to talk about that shampoo and that conditioner that i just used because it's bomb i got a dilemma <clears throat> shit and i'm just making a big ass mess. i got a dilemma y'all okay if I can get everything in my hand. Oh. Whew. Okay, y'all. I got a dilemma. Don't mind my shirt. This is the same shirt I had on when I washed my hair. My hair is washed. I got a little shine and jam right here. But that's nothing. So, I have a dilemma. 
So I was going to install the locks like I told you guys before. Okay, remember I told y'all that the hair that I purchased off of Amazon to wrap around these locks were not the same um, color. Well, how about my stupid self go into the beauty supply store and get another spring, another um, spring twist hair. However, if you can see closely, this is a 1B30. It's not even a 30 by itself. So I started plaiting my hair, right? And then I was like, you know what? Let me see if I can like, um, let me see how one of the locks gonna look on me, right? Just to make sure I can do like my own hair because I never did this to myself before. Here I go twisting the damn thing around. And obviously because the hair that I'm wrapping around the um, lock, excuse me, it has black in it. So you're not supposed to be able to tell where you start wrapping the hair, but because the hair that I got is another color, you can, so it won't work out. I gotta figure something else out. So with all that being said, I'm not even mad if I could be honest with y'all. I'm not mad at all. <laughs> Cause I got a headache. I was gonna be up all night doing that. So I'm just gonna um, do another style in my head. And it's gonna be probably um, tomorrow sometime. I got clients tomorrow, but I'll find time to do it. But right now your girl is gonna have her glass of wine. I got a headache and it's probably a hunger headache because I haven't ate nothing since Babe brought me um, breakfast this morning. So you girl about to have a glass of wine and I'm gonna wait on Babe to bring dinner. The wine of the night that I'm going to have is um, Peach Moscato by Soulmate. We got this wine from um, Sam's. And I think this wine was probably like $8 or something like that. And it's worth it. Um, it says the alcohol percentage is 6.5. And then let me see see if they have like some notes or something I can read to you guys um, it just says when the right one comes along you just know at soulmate wines we believe our semi sweet wine delightfully crafted with natural fruit flavors is truly one in a million our peach Moscato is bursting with notes of juicy sun ripe peach and will make you feel as though it was made just for you the perfect balance of sweetness in every glass and everything you've ever wanted is everything you've ever wanted and more so that's that y'all i'm happy y'all i'm like a fat kid that loves cake bait is back with the food we got some wing stop y'all period i got some cheese fries i got me some i think this is lemon pepper and then I got me some, what is this, garlic parmesan, babe? Yep. And that's what it is. Hey, y'all. Good morning. And happy Saturday. Baby and I are on our way to the hair store. I need to pick up something for my client and myself. Y'all, I'm looking a mess, but whatever. I'm going to be that baby or whatever soon or very soon. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, say what's up, babe. Y'all see you going nice up. I can't stand it. <laughs> I can't stand it. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I am back from the hair store, and it's time for me to get to work. I got a client this morning. Y'all see them birds like that? When I was coming up, my mom and daddy used to tell me when the birds line up like that, it's going to get cold. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Birds fly south for the winter. Hello, guys. So, it is later in the day. It's actually evening. Um, Mom wanted to go to the store. You guys know Thanksgiving is around the corner. It's actually next week. And mom wanted to go ahead and get our Thanksgiving um, dinner stuff now because y'all know that next week, the store is going to be a madhouse. I'm still out here in the streets looking a mess, but mind your business, okay? Mind your business. 
So they got seafood, bro. Yeah, they I want three, four. They three something. Yeah, they they okay, I need four. Get this. Okay, we're gonna go over there. What are you getting? Two potatoes. Are they thirty-seven cents a pound? guys we don't even really like turkey like that in our house but my mom said my uncle wanted to fry a turkey so we're in public to get a turkey guys hey y'all so hopefully you can see me but we have definitely made it back home and i am all shopped out like i'm all shopped out y'all but we did get most of the things that we needed for our thanksgiving feast we just have to get a few more things, but what we need, we can get it anytime, y'all. But we just wanted to get the bulk of our stuff tonight because y'all, those stores is about to be crazy. Hey, girl, hey. Hey, boy, hey. And happy Sunday. As you guys can see, your girl not dusty no more, whatever. We'll talk about that later because your girl is running off of like three hours of sleep. If that, maybe two hours and 30 minutes. But right now, mom and I are about to start a um what is it self-care maintenance vlog if that makes sense so come on y'all let's go to the nail shop <laughs> out of the nail shop the most basic nails took forever now I see why I don't do this often Lord. great morning great morning and happy Monday I hope you all have had a great weekend um, and is ready for this week or our three day weekend shall I say because you guys know that Thanksgiving is Thursday and Black Friday is Friday of course um, let me know in the comments down below what you're um, thankful for because I can go on the whole spiel about what I'm thankful for guys let's not forget the real reason for Thanksgiving yeah you know the the food is great you know, I'm not really a big turkey fan, but the ham is always great. If you know, you know my mama got one of the best hams. I'm just saying. But, yeah, 
the food is great however let's not forget the real reason for the season let's not get too complacent you know so yeah let me know in the comments down below what you're thankful for also let me know about the black friday sales because your girl is outside okay babe have to work myself as well as my mom is off so mom and i are gonna have some girl time and we are gonna go in the streets okay early and not late because those people be out there crazy but anyway y'all know <clears throat> told you guys in the last vlog i like to come over this way in the mornings and just see the scenery and see what you know mother nature have going on so today is nothing different we're gonna walk over here but as i'm walking i want to show you guys my nails again and tell y'all that my maintenance this month alone and i'm only referring to this weekend because this weekend was the only maintenance i've done in a while it took forever okay but before i get into that let me show you guys this uh oh i'm about to bust my butt Now that I got my fix, as you guys can see, the sun isn't out. It's still ugly here in South Florida, but that's okay. Let's just be grateful and thankful that our Father allowed us to be amongst the living and not the dead. Let's thank Him for not treating us as our sins deserve. I'm not forcing anything on you. I don't know whatever it is that you believe in in your higher power, but over here. As for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord all day, honey, okay? We're going to serve the Lord. Okay, y'all, so I'm back in my booth. Hopefully, you guys can see me well. So, let's talk. Let's talk. Okay. Starting with my hair. Friday. Was that Friday? Was that Friday or was it Saturday? I think it was Friday because yeah it was Friday okay so I went to the hair store and I needed to get some um, detangler I went to the hair store for a detangler because my hair had so much product build up in it and normally I like to detangle my hair before I go ahead and shampoo it because I don't want it to be like matted and stuff so I went to the hair store to get some detangler and y'all I am such a product junkie like I will try a new product at a drop at a drop of a hat I'm just saying so I picked up a new shampoo and conditioner um, I have like a little clip of what I use and stuff like that but if you did not see it I'll put a picture up or when I get home I'll just like insert a clip of what I used and y'all it was the cream of nature um the honey collection let me look up on my phone right now so I can sh tell you guys the exact um name of it and I said I was gonna wait until I get home to show you guys like um it like while telling you guys I can show you guys at the same time but I don't want to forget to add this because I know when I get home I get sidetracked and my nephew is there so ain't no telling what you know what I'm gonna get into when I get home I also have a client today and my mom and I are still trying to get ready for Thanksgiving like I want to do a deep cleaning and stuff like that so it's no telling what I'm gonna be doing when I get home but anyway 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 so I ended up picking up Excuse me. If I 
have to find the actual breakdown of the of the products. Okay. So I got the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Moisturizing Dry Defense Shampoo. It says it's for dry and de dry and dehydrated hair. Pure honey, rich coconut, creamy shea butter. So it says, let me see if I can get like a description so I can tell you guys what it says that it does. It says cream of nature pure honey collection is infused with a blend of pure honey, certified natural coconut oil and shea butter. This new collection targets dry dehydrated hair to provide essential moisture, softness and soft moisture, softness and smoothness where your hair needs it without weighing it down, y'all. This is not new. Let me just say it's new to me, but it's not new. Okay. I've watched several YouTube videos about this here um, line and I can honestly say different strokes for different folks because I came across a video that was saying that they enjoyed the conditioner more than the shampoo and then I also saw videos actually naturally Nisi or I don't know if it's on that channel being Nisi or Shanice Crystal. I'm not sure which channel it's on, but she also did a review on this line and she loved it. And hands down, I love it too. Like, I don't really don't use shampoo on my hair at all because I don't like the dry and brittleness that I feel from a shampoo. Now, granted, I do understand that when you're trying to, um, when you're trying to get like all of the nastiness out of your hair as far as like build up and you know gels and all that stuff you want your hair to give you that squeaky clean feeling however I personally I don't like that feeling so I would co-wash as much as possible like if I had a month where I uh, shampoo or co-wash my hair like I don't know every week so that's like what three weeks if I would like wash my hair every week I wouldn't do shampoo every week I would do co-wash I like to do shampoo once a month only because I put a lot of gel and stuff on my hair and it leaves a lot of build up and if I just do conditioner I'm gonna have to continue conditioning conditioning that thing quite a few times to make sure I have all of that out of my hair and as you guys can see I'm a busy bee you girl don't have time for that okay I don't have time for it so I absolutely love it. Will I be buying it again? Yes, I will. And tell me why babe in my stuff, y'all. Babe is in my stuff too. Like that's one thing about it. When I get shampoo and conditioner and stuff, he always in my stuff. I won't complain though. I won't complain. Let's get into um the conditioner. Let me see if I can find the conditioner so tell you guys about it <clears throat> basically it just says the same thing as far as the description it just says cream of nature pure honey collection is infused with a blend of pure honey certified natural coconut oil and shea butter this collection targets dry dehydrated hair to provide essential moisture softness and smoothness where your hair needs it without weighing it down so it also says it locks in moisture it's soft it says smoothness and softens and controls frizz and untangles. Y'all, this stuff had my hair feeling amazing. Like, it had my hair feeling amazing. And I did not do my hair until... I didn't do my hair until Saturday night. So, I went ahead and shampooed it. I conditioned it. I conditioned it. My mom blew it out for me. Um... And I just put it up in a ponytail, hence the vlog on Saturday. Was Saturday um, when I went out with my mom, I was looking a mess. So that was that ponytail. And when I got to do it on Saturday night, my hair was still soft, y'all. It was still soft. And that's, mm, that's, not, that's not often for me, okay? Because this hair has a mind of its own. 
and if you don't do anything with my hair as soon as you like get done blow drying it that's it that's it however this line that I'm telling y'all about honey it's a 10 out of 10 I definitely would recommend it it's very cheap it's not pricey at all try it out for yourself let me know in the comments down below if you have tried it before moving right along okay guys I started my hair at about what time did I start my hair on Saturday I started my hair pretty late I started my hair pretty late because I got home mom and I did our running around um I sat and I talked with babe for a while he ran me a bubble bath I was in there for like an hour and then I just started doing my hair I think I started on my hair maybe at like 12 o'clock 12 a.m. Your girl did not finish with her hair or go to sleep until like 8.45, something like that. 8.45, 9 o'clock in the morning. Babe got up at, was it 5? I think it was 4 or 5. He got up at 4 or 5. Looking for me, I wasn't in the bed. He saw I was doing my hair. Babe went to the barbershop to get an edge. He left the house at like 7 o'clock. I was still doing my hair, okay? Went to bed at like 9 something. Got back up at 12 something. So yesterday your girl was running off of like what? Two hours of sleep? Two, three hours of sleep? But. <clears throat> I wouldn't trade it for nothing in the world. Because I needed my hair done. Y'all saw how trashy I was looking. And I needed my hair done. And I was like, why go pay all of that money when your girl can do it herself? You know what I'm saying? Now, don't get me wrong. I do enjoy getting my hair done. But, you know, it's the holidays. And I feel like, why keep spending money when you can do it yourself? I'm just saying. <clears throat> and then, let's move along to my nails. Went to the nail shop, y'all. I told this lady I wanted ombre on my nails. This lady took so long. Like, first of all, I got in the in the seat to get my nails done. And I kid you not, I sat for at least maybe 30 minutes before anybody started working on my nails. And I know Sundays are typically slow, but I feel like they had enough people in there to do my nails. Because the dude who told me like to sit where I sat is like I was playing goddamn musical chairs. I sat down in one seat, he moved me to another seat and then I went to the final seat where somebody else was gonna do my nails. So I felt like the lady had applied the acrylic on my nails so thick. Like I don't know if you can see it in this um I don't know if you can see it from here. But she applied it like so thick. Right now it's okay. But just imagine like this nail like times two. Imagine the thickness times two. Like I had to tell that lady, this is too thick. It's too thick. <clears throat> but she did it. And they're nice. I feel I feel like this nail is like, well, I guess it's okay. It looks okay in the camera. But when I look at it from here, it looks like flicked it it looks cricket or something like that i don't know but these are my nails and i showed y'all my little piggies on yesterday when they got done my toes and mom and i went to go and get our eyebrows done on yesterday but um the place was closed so when i get off work today if my mom I don't know she got to go to work at 4 30 or 4 i'm not sure but maybe before she go to work we could stop into the place and let them do our eyebrows if not i guess i have to do it myself and so yeah that's it when it comes to maintenance y'all i'm so excited um because and i'm just rambling i'm just rambling i'm so excited because Two of the three um, Christmas gifts that I bought last week. Oh no, was it last week? Yeah, it was last week because I ordered one of my mom's gifts Monday and it was there on Friday. And then I ordered one of Babe's gifts Sunday, not Sunday, not yesterday, 
<clears throat> but the day before, hold on, y'all. Yes, so Christmas gifts are rolling in. I'm super duper excited to decorate for Christmas and stuff, y'all. I love Christmas. I know I don't told y'all this numerous of times, but I love Christmas. I just do. It makes me happy. It makes me really happy. But anyway, guys, I'm rambling, so I'll see you guys later. Hey, girl, hey. Hey, boy, hey. I'm just coming on here to close out the vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, this week wasn't so boring. We actually got out the house and did a few things. Um, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Make sure your post notification bell is on so that you can be notified each and every time I upload a video. And for those that are subscribed and have been riding with your girl, gang gang, let's, um, let's keep those views going up because once, once I reach 1K, I definitely will be doing a giveaway. So you guys, let's just go ahead and Get prepared for Vlogmas because Vlogmas is going to be lit. Like, if you haven't watched Vlogmas of last year here on my channel, make sure you guys catch up because starting December 1st, baby, you going up. And I don't want you to miss anything. So, again, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so right now. I'll wait. I'll wait. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next time. I love you. Deuces.